Conventional crude oil resources comprise all crude oil that is technically producible from reservoirs through a well bore using any primary, secondary, and enhanced recovery method. This definition excludes liquids produced from mined deposits or created liquids, such as liquids from natural gas. Furthermore, conventional crude oil is a large but finite volume, insofar as all or very nearly all of the major oil-bearing basins are identified, and production is clearly past its peak in some of the basins. Crude oil had influenced major changes in the trading and economic status of the United States over the past six decades, and whether the status that existed in the 1950s can ever be rejuvenated is unlikely. As mentioned previously, the United States has come not only to rely on crude oil, but the nation is also addicted to crude oil. Cures for this addiction are possible, such as a reduction in the amount of oil required for daily life, but will take time and are unlikely to succeed in the near term. The misfortunes of the United States are rooted in the depletion of the domestic oil reserves, the resource that made the United States the most powerful nation in history. This table illustrates the change in economic status of the United States over the past six decades. A side-by-side -side comparison of the United States' status in 1950 compared to 2008 shows the decline of the country's self-sufficiency in regard to manufacturing and availability of resources. Bad management by the government and by the private sector of the resources over this period of time adds to the equation and has contributed to the current situation. As a result of all these factors, oil depletion is real, not only in the United States, but also on a worldwide scale, and most studies estimate that oil production will peak sometime between now and 2040. This range of estimates is wide because the timing of the peak depends on multiple uncertain factors that will help determine how quickly the oil remaining in the ground is used, including the amount of oil still in the ground, how much of that oil can ultimately be produced given technological cost and environmental challenges, as well as potentially unfavorable political and investment conditions in some countries where oil is located, and future global demand for oil.